So the first thing you probably think of when you think of editing photos is Photoshop. It's so popular that it's basically become a verb. You can Photoshop an image. But most photographers, and I would guess you're probably in the same boat if you're watching this video, most photographers really don't need the functions that Photoshop has. There's a program that we use from Adobe, which makes Photoshop, from Adobe called Lightroom, which is a much easier, simpler, basic version almost of Photoshop uh, that's just much more useful and a much user-friendly and easier tool. And it's got one really great component to it uh, that sold me on it originally, and it's, I think, the really by far the best feature of Lightroom. And I'm going to tell you what it is, and in this video I'm going to tell you why we use Lightroom for, I don't want to say all of our editing, but 99.9% .9 of our photo editing. So first let's just start with cost. We're going to get into the computer. I'm going to show you some examples here. But cost-wise, to get the Photoshop and Lightroom bundle uh, from Adobe Online, the Creative Cloud version. It's like $9.99 a month. It's a subscription, you pay it every month, and you get automatic downloads for any updates for new lenses, new cameras, any new tools that they create, anything, any tweaks they have to the system, you get it automatically updated. So you don't have to buy a new software package every year or every couple of years. To me, that's a bargain, and you get Lightroom, which you're gonna use almost all the time, and Photoshop is, is there for the little bit here and there that you might need it but Lightroom is what we're talking about here. So let's jump in here. The first thing I really love about Lightroom is the organization. It's very easy to import your images. Uh, once you have your memory card or your camera hooked up to your computer, you're just gonna go to import down here. You're gonna find those files wherever they are, and then you're just gonna hit import, and it's just gonna basically bring them right in to whatever folder you have designated. And you can basically set up your directory however you like, and it's pretty much automatic. So I've got all my cameras over here that I've used over the years. Currently, I'm shooting with the R5, so this is my most recent photos here. And all my images, all my raw images are imported into my R5 folder here. And then from there, you can create any kind of subfolder that you like. Over on the left-hand side, you have collections. You can designate vacations and trips or photo shoots, things like that that you've had to do. You can basically load any images that you want into here, and it's not taking them out of your original folder. It's just basically adding them to another spot for you to find. When it comes time to find specific images that you're looking for, up on the top here, there's the library filter, which you can, if you know the number of the image that you're looking for, you type it into the search here, it takes you right to the image. And if you know, you know, you wanna look for images that you've shot with your 24 millimeter 1.4 lens, you click on that and it filters it basically by now you're only getting those images. Very easy to find them in here and you can rename them as you go along. You can set automatic import features uh, which allows you to rename images as you import them. Very customizable that way. I basically just use the original uh, file name from the camera. I just find it's easier that way and then I can organize my JPEGs when I export them. I can organize those into folders. So right off the bat, importing, organization, very, very easy. So now when it comes to editing, the thing I really, really love about Lightroom is the editing is non-destructive. And what I mean by that is you shoot with a raw file. It's like a negative. If you're coming back from the old film days or you know what a negative is, that's your image that's been stamped. That's, that's your basic base image before you've done anything to it. The way that Lightroom works is it takes those raw images and it preserves them forever. So it doesn't actually change your original raw image. Any edits that you do in Lightroom are applied kind of like as an instruction on top of that. So if you change the white balance, if you change the cropping, if you change the brightness, if you change the colors, anything that you do to it is basically just earmarked as a set of instructions to apply to that raw image every time that you look at it. So you're looking at the screen, You've got the raw, the completely processed, edited raw, uh, image on front here, and I can hit the backslash and I can see my before. This is the raw image as it is, and this is the image as it was edited. Now, anytime I ever want to go back and make any changes to that, none of the edits that I've made are permanent. So I can go back and I can tweak those original edits anyhow I like, and it's not going to affect the original raw file. So if I wanted to go back and let's say I wanted to say, you know what, I love this image, I like it, but you know what, maybe I wanted this to be black and white. Well, I can go ahead, click on black and white. Now I can make a black and white version of it, export that as a JPEG, and I can 
go back and change this back to the color version anytime that I want. If I wanted to have multiple versions of the same raw image to edit over and over again, I can very simply click Create Virtual Copy. It basically gives me a second raw file to work with down here. See, it says two of two, and this one up here is gonna say one of two now. Here's my original, and here's my second. Now I can go in here and I can create a completely new image using the same original raw file, and it's doing the same thing. It's not affecting the original raw file at all. It's just applying a whole new set of instructions on how I wanna edit that. And the edits are really very simple. So right now I'm in the library function. I'm gonna click on the develop function over here and it's gonna take me right into my develop panel. On the right hand side here, I have all my basic edits. And here's where I'm gonna tweak the contrast, the brightness, I'm gonna tweak my colors a little bit. This is a nice colorful rainbow. This is shot inside a hot air balloon as it's being blown up. Uh, so I wanted this to be very colorful. I bumped up my colors here where I got them to like the way I like them. Uh, profile corrections, you know, lens ha lenses have inherent uh, distortions. Uh, this has basically a database. This was shot with the Canon RF 15 to 35. And Lightroom has a database of all these lenses and it's continuously updated where it knows how to correct this lens based on its vignette, based on its distortion. And I can just click this one box and it'll kind of take away any of those characteristics if I don't want them. And I can leave them on there if I want to. But very simple edits like color, white balance, brightness, things like that. And it's got some powerful tools up here. You know, the crop feature is basically very basic. I can crop this however I like. I have a clone or heel tool here. You can see actually some circles where there were actually some spots. Let me zoom in on that and I'll take this out. And you can see that I had, there was a spot here, which kind of stands out. If you look at the image back here, you can really see it there. So I go in, really simply heal that, and it's gone. You don't see it anymore. Uh, the graduated filter we don't use very often, uh, but if you wanted to brighten or darken or apply a filter to a particular s section of your image, let's say you wanted to add a stop of exposure to the top, you can kind of do that. You see how it adjusts there very easily. The tool that is unbelievably invaluable is the brush. The adjustment brush, I can apply any of these adjustments down here. Exposure, contrast, my clarity. I can adjust sharpness. I can adjust the hue of the image, white balance, anything I want. And I can just go here and I can brush that to wherever I want it to be. So let's say I wanted this whole area here to be a little bit brighter. I can adjust it there and then I can take the slider and I can adjust my exposure. I can adjust my white balance for that area. I can do anything I want just to that area. If I wanted to remove some of what I've done, I can hit the Alt or Option key and I can erase some of it. And again, this is all non-destructive. So it's very easy to just hit Undo and I can go back and undo or I can just delete this brush and it just takes me back, but none of the adjustments at all or these edits have been applied to the raw image. It's just a set of instructions that I'm telling the program to apply to this raw image when I'm done. Very basic, very easy to use, especially when you get the hang of it and you've been using it for a while, you can go in and make really quick, simple edits in no time at all. And then when you're ready to you have your image done, Basically, you're gonna see it on here. What you're seeing on here is the edited image, the, you know, what you want eventually your image to be. You're gonna to go to export, and you've got a set of parameters here, which is all very basic. The presets are all basically what you need. You wanna export it as a JPEG, and you're gonna hit export. It's saying up here, export one file. You can do 10 at a time, you can do 100 at a time, whatever you wanna do. You can export your images, and then go to the folder that, where they're going, and you've got your JPEG right here. So then what I'll do is I'll make a folder of, let's say, New York City 9-11, and I'll put these images in there, and I can always go back and find them right there. But once you get the hang of it, once you have a routine, once you know how to import and export, it takes minutes to go through a whole batch of images, edit them, and get them ready to share. So that's just a little overview of why we use Lightroom, why we love it so much. Very simple and easy to use. We have some other videos on here that I'll put links to. Uh, and how to certain things with Lightrooms. We have a Lightroom playlist, you can check that out. Uh, any comments or anything you want, any programs that you use that you've maybe used Lightroom, you use something else, 
uh, which you find easier to use, uh, definitely put them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Any questions, definitely put them down there also. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.